How's everyone doing today? Uh, I've been posting a while, so I've got a pretty long video today. Uh, anyways, we're starting this one out with a week-long collection. Uh, so, I'm doing a lot of collections here, but different weeks. Because I missed a couple weeks, I'd say. It's been about 20 days or so, but... That's one week collection, our first one week week collection of this video. And it's not looking too bad, we're looking at 250. So there it is on the ground. Anyways, now we got it all locked up and we can now head to our other location uh which is the pizza place the big bob's pizza yeah, place which usually does really well we're just jumping right into the collection here i mean um pull our m m in the skittle machine and be like get the m m and as always it's looking pretty good that's my that's my friend's hand in the background <laughs> Um, he grabbed a quarter to get a gumball, but unfortunately for him, so this dumbass right here decided to get he had uh, the gumball stuck to his gumball. hand, and yeah, he tried to you take the to gumball, gumball and it stuck to his hand, and now he can't drive, so, so uh, it sucks to be God, him. No. And also, with this new machine over here, I'm 3D printed a part. Because of the one that I had when I was drilling through the lock, I accidentally drilled through that part, which got rid of the screws. So I'm just planning on gluing that screw into that hole right there that I left open. And it should work. And then after that, all I need to do is uh, order the two canisters that I need. And then that machine should be finished. I can find a location. I also ordered some business cards, which look pretty cool. And that's how I found my new location and got this machine. This is the machine exactly the same as uh, the one at Big Bob's, but that's what it looks like when you open it. You got the Venmaster vending machine head and the Rhino stand. The Rhino stand is covered in the yellow, but here's the head. The Ven Master head, and it's kind of hard to pull the bubble wrap off. But uh, next, I'm gonna unwrap this stand here. So I took off all the yellow strappings, and that's what it looks like on the inside. So to assemble this, it's pretty easy. You get your uh, base plate, you put that on the bottom, of course, because that's where it's gonna stand. And then, of course, you need your machine as well, your machine head. And it also comes with some of the keys as well. Uh, spare one just in case. And then it also comes with this candy shoot catcher. But I'm not going to install that. And to install the, um, the stand, you just want to screw that metal plate in and then... Add the flange, which was the part I was holding, onto the top of that, like that. And then you screw in through the machine. And then once you're done with that, it should be pretty close to done. You just want to add your candy. And then it should be good. Add your candy. Test out the mechs. Test out uh, what wheels suit best for your candy. And then my labels came with 50 cent for some reason. But lucky for me, I have this little label maker here, which is pretty cool, that I got for my birthday. So I'm just going to print some 25 cent labels uh, to stick on there because we're not selling candy for um, 50 cents. And there's our three labels we could stick on there. Just tear that off and looks like there's a little piece left, but 
I can't really get that right now. Small fingernails sometimes suck. But anyways, we got our labels now, and then we can just apply those to, mach to the machine like that, which I think looks pretty good. And I'm going to be adding this machine to a hot dog place, a local hot dog place that I just found. I used my business card to actually get it, in fact. And so it's looking pretty good. Anyways, uh, now we're back at Big Bob's for, this is our second collection. And we got rid of the blots. We're going to add our uh, double bubble gumballs or whatever they're called. But I got one of those huge boxes. And then I also restocked uh, candy as well. Everyone wants full machines. It looks newer and better. I also added that uh, double bubble label to it as well. But uh, here's the collection for one week. And it's not looking as good as usual, but still very good for one week. Uh, now we're back at this location again. Got my keys with me. I added a little Steel Vengeance keychain if you've ever been on that ride. It's a nice day out, so I bike down here, and uh, we're just going to be doing a simple collection today, so let's see how it did. Not bad. We're looking at about 325 I believe, which adds out to 11.75, which, yeah, 11.75 for a week. Anyways, thanks to you guys for staying until the end of this uh also long video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and anyways i will see you in the next time bye